Next, let's take a look at a few examples of solid sweep. So in my folder structure, you're going to find four solid sweep as a folder, and there's three examples. We'll just go through them one at a time. First one here, as you can see, we have a shaft. I have a, uh, another design body in there, which is a tapered cutting tool. Uh, you also see that I have a 3D sketch, and notice that it doesn't go clear to the ends of the shaft. And I did that on purpose because this cut that I'm going to make, I don't want to go clear to the end. So what I'm going to do is build a helical curve on that 3D sketch using that as the center point. And then for the diameter, I'm just going to pick up the end of the cutting tool. Let me spin it here so I make sure I get the uh, center point. There we go. And in this case, I'm using, of course, the uh, constant pitch, length, and turns. And the number of turns I have is 7. So once I have my curve created, now I'm ready to create my solid sweep. So I'm going to do a solid swept cut using that helical path. Here's my cutting tool. It's going to automatically pick up the center of the tool because it is cylindrical. And then for the lock direction, I want to use the center of that shaft. So I'm just going to use that 3D sketch to define that. And in just a second, you'll see that it'll uh, create that helical cut. And there we go. And so if I want to adjust it, um, because I did make this ordered, you can go back and, of course, edit the, the helical curve. Let's go back to that. Let's uh, change the number. Let's make it only uh, 5. And it's going to update. And that's the reason that I do it in order, so that I can play with it and, and change some of the parameters and, and see how it reacts. And so there we have our first example. Oh, wrong one. First example of a uh, solid sweep. Another way to do that, let's open up another example. examples to have the, the axis of the tool parallel with the center of the shaft and so we'll do that again we'll run the same command again I already have the helix created it's a good idea to, to make sure that your path runs off of the part uh, when you're using solid sweep to make sure that you get the answer that you expect you don't end up with some weird surfaces that are hanging off the edge because of the way that it cut um, so here we go so let's go ahead and create a solid swept cut again Here's my path. Here's my tool. Again, picks up the center. And again, the same thing. I can pick up the, the y-axis here. And there you can see you get a, a another result, like a cutting tool. Very nice result there as well. So this is something uh, customers have been asking for for a long time. and, and so I'm happy to, to show it to you here. Last example, let's go ahead and open up that. It's the third example. So in this example, you can see that we have a, a non-G1 continuous path, that there are sharp corners. But because our tool is on the path and uh, it is a planar path, uh, it is allowed. So I just want to show you that quickly. So once again, we'll go to the solid swept cut. We'll specify our path, the tool. This time we don't need an orientation or direct lock direction because it is uh, planar and on the path. And so you see that in fact did work. And so those are just a couple examples of, of being able to take that solid and sweep it along, along a path, which is really, really cool.